Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to set up this um, AbleNet Bluetooth switch today with the iPad um, for using the two switch step scanning. So if your student has one of these interfaces, this is how you'd set it up to use two switches. One to move between uh, pictures or things and then the other to get that. So like if they're moving through a communication app, they can go to what they want to say and then use another switch to hit it. So the first thing, this is a Bluetooth switch, so there's no cable. You've got to connect it with Bluetooth. So turn it on. Make sure the lights are coming on. That's how you know it's on. And then you're going to go to Bluetooth. Turn your Bluetooth on if it's not already on. And then you're going to look for something that says Bluetooth on the front of it. So this looks like it's it right here. Yes, I'd like to pair. Okay, so it looks like that worked just fine. So then we're gonna go to General, Accessibility, Switch Control, which is down here. And before we turn on Switch Control, we're gonna add these switches. So you go to Switch, Add New Switch. This is an external switch. And then you're going to press it. And we're gonna name it. Now, even if your student's using like a cheek switch or something, that can be plugged into here. So still, still, still set it up the same way, even if they're not gonna touch this actual switch. And we're gonna use this one just as our mover. So we're gonna make it say move to next item. Okay, so that's our mover switch. Now we're gonna add this other one right here as our as our getting switch. All right, so blue two S two. Okay. And since this is what we're gonna use to get what we want, we're gonna say select item. Okay, so we've added both switches. Go back and make sure scanning style says manual, um, which it does. For right now, since we're scanning, we don't want any of these recipes or anything to come up here. So if you go to recipes and down here next to launch recipe, make sure it says none. If it doesn't, if it says something else, go in here and select none. All right, now we're gonna turn it on. Now see, when I hit the S1, because this is my mover, this is what moves between things. So I move until I get what I want or where I want to be and then if I want that then I press it and in this menu it's gonna give me more options to keep moving but you get the idea so you move with one and then you move and then you get with the other so I want to go back I don't want to be in here so I just move to that now let's get out of accessibility so I'm gonna move until I get to accessibility and then I'm gonna hit that get switch and that's how I get out and same thing until I want to get all the way out of these settings. And then when you're on this home page, see how it gives you that bar? So if you selected this, then it's going to give you options to then move between what was on that row. So if I want to go to Google, I just come over here and click. All right, that's all you get in this video.